Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you max damage, max carry, trundle jungle carry. To do this, we're gonna be doing something a little bit differently. Instead of going Q max first, which doesn't give you any lower cooldown and per level doesn't give you that much. Only extra 20 damage, an extra five AD, and some slight AD ratio. All that stuff pretty insignificant, especially in the early game. So we're gonna be going for a W max first. The cooldown gets lower, you get more movement speed, you get more attack speed, and the cooldown gets lower. The cooldown will get low enough to where your W lasts just as long as the cooldown to where you can be permanently sped up and permanently attack sped, making it incredibly difficult to fight. We're up against a challenging matchup. It's a Kindred. If we're going to fight her, we have to have the drop on her or she has to misplay one or the other. Otherwise, we should generally look away. For example, if her Q is on cooldown, we can look for the pillar into an all in. If her Q is not on cooldown, then we kind of have to hold pillar because she can jump through it. We have Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Alacrity, Coup de Gross, Free Boots, Cosmic, Attack Speed, 80, and Armor. I plan on rushing down Sunfire, Aegis, into Bork. Bork Rush first isn't bad on Trundle. However, it doesn't give you any ability haste. And it also doesn't necessarily help you AoE clear your camps like Sunfire does. Sunfire gives you that AoE burn. It's going to let you take your Raptors pretty easily. The Bork doesn't, so... If you do Bork Rush, your solos will be a bit better. But with Sunfire, it's going to be much more stable. And after Sunfire, we'll look for Bork into Titanic. And we'll have a whole lot of on-hit damage. Try to fight on top of your W. It gives you a bunch of extra movement speed, attack speed, and increased healing. So if you build life still with things like Bork, it's great. Your only inherent healing you really have is from your R. And from uh, your passive to where if an enemy dies and you're in the general area in this circle you get a chunk of that health so whenever tanks die a dragon or a baron dies near you it's going to help keep you alive we want to look to invade here like i said if we can get the drop on her we can solo her so if she walks into us or if i come out of a bush she'll be screwed we'll pop refill for absolute full hp right as we're passing this bush we'll use the back end of the sweeper bada boom there we go and we'll push it into her red buff so if she did a three camp clear into red We'll kill her or she four camp cleared. If this is her fifth or fourth camp, we will get here in time. If this was her fourth camp, we'd get here. Oh, she's just dead. Auto attack key reset. She did not farm healthy enough. She had clearly done. Oh, she did a four camp. This was her fifth. Wow. So she did had done Raptors there. She's going to be so far behind now, though. Yeah, she's in some big doo doo. We'll look to take this scuttle real quick and then we'll run for opposite side scuttle and kill her. Go ahead and hit it with an auto attack Q. I don't want to burn pillar on it right now. I'll go ahead and use W early. It should come off a of cooldown anyways. I want the extra movement speed to cross. I don't want minions to see me though. Don't want the enemies to know I'm coming over here. She might have boots or a long sword. She won't have much else. I have bot and mid prior right now. So, ooh, she already got it. Looks like she's invading my jungle. She has one long sword. I can solo her with red buff, blue buff advantage. Yeah, there she is. She doesn't have a great escape route here. Yeah, Lulu stopped her back. I'm having trouble getting over here. Yeah, this is a really weird fight for me. Hit her with the pillar, we're on the ghost for the chase down, auto attack into the Q reset. It's worth, I feel bad for Lulu dying, there's just nothing I could have done to really save her other than maybe pillar super early. Still, one for two, very, very good for us. I want to look to reset, once you can afford a bomby cinder is usually when you want to back. Since we're already here on our camp, I might as well take it. Top lane's looking gankable, Darius hasn't back to spend his gold yet. He very well may back after he dumps that wave. That's what he should do. If he ends up staying, he's just trolling. So he's going to reset. It's pre-five minute anyway, so top and mid turrets take basically a fifth damage. Pre-five minute mark. All right, we'll grab this. We'll grab that. We'll grab this. We can hold off on the Null Magic Mantle for now. I would have waited in base for up to 20, 30 gold for Null Magic Mantle if I was up against an AP jungler like Diana or Evelyn, or even an Udyr for that matter. But against Kindred, it's going to be doing almost entirely physical damage to where Null Magic Mantle wouldn't help me much against their team, only against the Akali, who I don't have to interact with because she's the mid laner. Go ahead and leave this here defensively. I'll attack Q reset. I said we were going to max our W. We still are. I accidentally put a point in our Q. What a ripperoni. 
Your Q per level doesn't really give very much compared to W. 20% attack speed per level, plus more movement speed and a lower cooldown is really nice. Since we have a lead, we want to try to path into her initial buff spawn. It's going to come up the same time ours did. Most junglers start bot side. You see it just turned gray. It means it's up a minute or less. It'll be up like 6 minute 50. I didn't get assist for Pillar. That's kind of sad. Vagar Cage gets an assist even if it doesn't touch him. Even if they're not inside of it. It is what it is though. Auto attack Q reset. We'll put one auto on each of these to apply our jungle item burn. And Balmy Cinder should do the rest. Looks like we have a good gank bot side. There's a control word there. They're, sh they're shoving up too far without proper vision. Aatrox support is a bit of a cheesy pick. Has a lot of all-in potential. But uh, can, can definitely be abused if you gank it and stuff. I want Silver to lay her control word. There it is. I saw their jungler was just top side, so I want to go invade her blue. I think Dragon's a mistake here since Dragons are so tanky. Don't want to pop that into the Diana. I mean the uh, <laughs> Kindred, obviously. Lulu's going to give away what's happening here, I think. Yeah, that sucks. I could have solo killed her. Oh, well. It is what it is. We'll path into her red buff spawn. It's up in about a minute. And might want to gank my bot side here. You can use your pillar to aggro a camp. It's not that useful. In a situation like this, though, it'll help me a little bit. Save me a second or two. Only bad thing about Trundle is your general lack of mobility. So you're trying to look for situations where you can raw one versus one someone to the death. That's uh, kind of his bread and butter. 7 minute 35 level 6. Kind of standard for Trundle. If you want to play him more damage heavy early, you can go for team at rush. That would kind of defeat the purpose of our current build, though. We're trying to get our W on a low cooldown and max it out. So we need ability haste from our first item. The team at and Titanic don't actually do that. Other than your Q being a great auto attack reset, it also steals AD from the opponent. And it gives you a little bit of extra range. Making it an amazing auto attack reset. Red buff tick, jungle item tick will kill that. Should. There we go. That was kind of close. Should be able to kill her on a red buff. If we get drop on her, she does have tier twos, which is kind of concerning. We do have ghosts though, so we'll see. Oh, she already got it. Oh my gosh. That sucks. How close are we to Sunfire? We're really not that close. We'll go ahead and take this. We have some mid prio. She's still kind of scared of us since we've been bullying her a bit. That's why Kindred is a bit of a counter to Trundle. What you see there, it just jumps straight through your pillar. It's really annoying. Need to pull this over and away. Looks like Darius might be rotating. They know I'm on it because of the Kindred. It's just a matter of do they actually want to fight for it. And they might. Trying to get this eye to open. There it is. If we did too much damage, like if we dropped it below 1400, it wouldn't reopen. So we needed to just wait a second there. Auto attack Q reset. Once it drops below a certain threshold, it just doesn't open back up. We'll go ahead and reset. We get Sunfire. Our ghost is up. We don't have a gank though. Bit of a slow game for us. Grab a control ward and head for dragon. The enemy team doesn't really want to play. So I keep accidentally putting points in my queue. Just instinctually. Oh man, the pain, the pain. I'm gonna have to stop myself on this next one. The uh, Aatrox is pathing towards Dragon. He's looking for the roam, kind of like Leona would. He only has tier one boots though. Should be able to mangle him. Our tier ones are about to pop in. Got him. I'll attack Curie set. Don't quite have my boots yet here. 
Oh, yuck. Aw, oh, run, Lulu, run. These guys are forcing hard. <clears throat> it's hard to say where we should take our Herald. Nothing seems gankable to me. It all looks very untouchable. We have a large gold spent advantage on Kindred. Now would be a solid time to start the dragon. Trying to take dragons before your one full item is tricky. You take so much damage, you really need your bot lane to help for most champions. Now's a good time. I can solo it easily with Sunfire. Hey, friend. Get him with the pillar out of midair. We get the Lulu slow on this guy. Auto attack Q reset. He healed a lot there. Gonna get him with an auto attack Q reset. And then we'll pull out. Sick. Don't know where Kali is. I assume she's rotating. Oh, nice. We dodged it. Probably should have just ran through the turret. Oh, well. Look for the reset. I'm kind of feeling the Lucids buy. <laughs> I feel like Lucids would be really good here. They're also really inexpensive. Let's try it. Seems like a troll item, but I mean, having our W to where it, do it doesn't really even go on cooldowns. Pretty sweet. Last for eight seconds, only on 10 second cooldown now. We have a total of 40 ability haste. Really need more points in our W though. If you're going to be building Trundle with some kind of crit, that's when Qmax is a little bit more valuable. It's getting higher AD. It's a bit more useful. Our W is almost on the perfect cooldown. We can start using it to get around the map. We use it all the way from Wolves and it should be pretty much up for the red buff now. One W should be enough to take any camp, <clears throat> especially if you go Bork instead of Sunfire. With the red buff, it has barely enough health. I'm gonna hold on to W here. I wanna get to the Aphelios. We need to lay our thing before it's too late. Get him with the pillar. I'm gonna lose my Herald here. I have to lay it right now or it's too late. Plus, we'll get some plates off of it. Having the movement speed from the W is nice. We have 36 instead of 20%. Helps you stay on top. It's particularly good for this on-hit style build that we're going. Really great smite there on my part. We get some plates. You don't have to go Lucids, you could go Swifties, you could go for Plated, all that's fine. We'll stay and kill Kindred. Actually, her blue buff's on a cooldown. She's just gonna go to her red. Hey friend, auto attack Q reset. <laughs> auto attack Q reset. And yep, Sunfire Aegis. It's doing some work. Plus the lethal tempo stack. It was a decent pillar because it blocked off his path and it would have been better if we also had to push him into us. Trundle's really good at breaking turrets. I kind of want to kill this Kindred though. Darius is missing and Darius is really fed. They saw me come over here through turret vision so I can't keep going here. Lulu almost had the turret. I should have stayed, stayed and broken in hindsight since Darius was missing. He's so fed. He also has armor. Trundle R steals a bunch of their health, armor, and magic resist. So even though we didn't go for play, we should, st should still be very tanky R-ing someone like the Darius. Auto attack Q reset. And now our W is literally on basically a zero second cooldown in terms of we're always going to be under its effects. Because it lasts for eight seconds and it's on an eight second cooldown now. <laughs> Once we have the blue buff. Kind of cool. Nice. like that a lot, actually. By walking through it, it's on a five second cooldown. So it takes about three seconds to kind of walk through it. If you angle it away from yourself. Let's see if this is warded. Yeah, it's not, but. Pillar her away. Same with the Darius. 
I'll wait for her. I'm not actually gonna run. Second item rush. I kinda wanna get something with ability haste. Like Death's Dance. I know Bork would be insane though. Should probably just go for Bork. Our whole build's built around attacks with the lethal tempo and W max first. And yes, I accidentally put a lot of points in my Q, but still we are gonna max our W literally first before our Q is maxed. I wish his Q got on a lower cooldown per level or if it stole more of their AD per level. I guess it does steal more of their AD per level. It just doesn't say that in the actual description of what it does per level. All it says per level that it does is it does more damage gives you more attack damage and the damage ratio based off your AD goes up. It looks like it steals a bit more per level though. Starts out at 10 and now it's at 15. So it looks like it's half of what your total AD is at. Yeah, I'm pretty fast. That's kind of cringe how they're just waiting though. Why why are they all stacked there for some reason? Their whole team's over there. There's not the dragon's not even up. It's just I, I'll take Harold then that's fine. That is so weird. I must have been on a ward really early, so they all had five, six seconds to converge. It's usually what happens when it seems like they converge super early. It's just they had good vision most likely. Most likely. Someone on our team just tried to surrender. Yeah, later guys. It was fun. <clears throat> this Darius has given her a lot of backup. He just lost turret for that, but I hope it was worth it. That pathing. He may have been able to kill Fiora if she committed for that. If he didn't decide to try to tickle my pickle. <clears throat> I'll attack Q reset. W is now below an 8 second cooldown, so we can technically have two W's down at once. Yeah, <laughs> there's some overlap. If we get enough abilities, we'll actually be able to have two down at once comfortably, and it will look good. Because this, this should get down to like a 7 or 6 second cooldown, so we'll have a full second or two of overlap after Frozen Heart. Our team's super AD heavy too, so Frozen Heart would feel really nice on us. Dragon's coming up. I wish I had time to back and get Bork. I just don't, though. Probably need to fight here. If I see Darius over here, though, we can't. Because Fjord doesn't have TP, and then we just have to give. I'll attack Q reset if she lets me get to her. I just can't get to her, apparently. I used my smite on her. Darius is top, so we can definitely do this. Even if their jungler shows, it's whatever. Whoa! Fior soloed him. I guess because he went Merc Treads, Fior went plated. You guys want to fight? Okay. Failure's hitting me over the walls. Hurting a little bit. Wow, we actually barely got that. Hey, we're gonna kill everybody. <laughs> we're so tanky. We're doing so much damage. We fought three of them at once and then Akali was the fourth. We tanked like crazy though. That was awesome. What are we looking for at this point? Yeah, probably the frozen heart. Aphelios doesn't have any serious uh, health regen or life still. All he has is his fleet, so. It would only be decent against Aatrox, but he's not really fed because he wants support. And he has one kill. Therefore, Frozen Heart is looking tasty. Yeah, we'll go Frozen. Buy it. Well, well I, I guess I'll sell this. That's fine. Yeah, while you're on this, 52% movement speed, 110% attack. That's so much attack speed for 8 seconds on basically a 0 second cooldown since it lasts longer than the cooldown itself is. I like that a lot. 
They shouldn't have tried to fought us. I had my Sunfire built up off the dragon. You have to be in combat for around five seconds, four or five seconds, before your Sunfire actually does damage, basically, to champions. You have to be in combat with an epic monster or a champion. And we'd already stacked it off of the dragon and whatnot. Ooh, this Lulu really... She wants to take Baron. This is a bad call, though. We absolutely cannot take Baron right now. We'll W into the E. Moving 52% faster makes it so much easier to land. We're moving almost 600 movement speed. I guess with Sivir R on. Without Sivir R... It's hard to tell. Wait, I have to lay my freaking Herald, man. And my jungle item burn is hitting the uh, Baron right now. So it's it's stalling out my Herald. If you're in combat with the champion or epic monster, it won't let you lay it. You're dead. I'll attack Q. Goodbye. Wait, how'd we lose that fight? Their AD carry wasn't even in that fight. Unreal. Probably kill the Darius solo. And imagine... Especially if he doesn't have R. Solon's gonna come to try to stop my Herald, obviously. So, we wait for our victim. We line wait like a uh, ant lion. Waiting for something to fall in. So, Atrox Smith, so the only other person's alive is the, was like the Darius Akali. Now they're all kind of alive. This guy's really not gonna stop my Herald lay. Like they didn't even see it. I like how I'm tanking this. That's so much fun. It'd be cool if you could heal off turrets with your passive. Get 4% of the turrets out. <laughs> That'd be awesome. I laid it to give myself some slack to escape here. I think I failed this. Oh, yeah. Hey, bud. Blue smite, I'll attack. Q reset, we're fighting him on our ground. He needs to kite away from that and he might have a chance. Yeah, I'm dead. We got wrangled and jangled. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate. We got quite a bit out of them. If Kali didn't have Zanis, we would have destroyed her. At least her Zanis is on cooldown. It looks like she gets away. Exhaust on the Darius. He doesn't have... Well, he did still have R, apparently. It's a little surprising. Frozen Heart into... Kind of want Titanic now for the HP it gives. We have so much armor. Not even including what our R gives us. It's, it's a lot. It steals 27% of their health. And it steals... 40% armor, 40... Magic resist and it's total it counts to even the flat so even if Felios getting nearly half of his armor 35 that's pretty good Really really solid To get out of a squishy 35 armor roughly 35 magic resist out of squishy out of a tank you'd be getting at least double that Basically giving yourself an extra armor and magic resist item not including the HP you get Dragon fight time. Time to build Sunfire. Darius didn't come here, so they give this for free. Don't mind if I do. Now, look, we have Sunfire built up here in a second. It's not... Okay, there it is. Now it's showing it. it. Really does take a while to kick in there. I wish it would tell you when it turns back off. Okay, now it's turned back off. I'll attack Q reset. So easy to disengage. 52% movement speed. Nice R, buddy. Double pillar. Whip out our R. I'll attack Q reset. I'll attack Q reset. <laughs> hey, I'm not done yet. We're not done yet. We're not done yet, boy. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice being able to do the most damage on the team while still being giga tanky it's the goal in league to be tanky enough to take a hit while simultaneously be able to do the most damage I'll attack Q dodge the Darius Q at least the tip you don't want to let him hit you with the tip or he heals a lot 
Yeah, let's just pull out a bit. Should be able to get turret here. Not the best W. I used it too early. Now I can't even use it on the inhib. Yeah, we gotta leave now. Get some mana back by going into jungle. Titanic's gonna feel so good. It gives you a bunch of extra AD based on your total HP. Or your bonus HP. And then it gives you a bunch of on-hit damage. Also proportional to your HP. So really good on-hit damage. And really good AD and health. Only downside is it doesn't give you any ability haste, so there's that. It'd be funny to have a tier item on uh, Trundle to go for Mana Moon. Give you good on hit. Problem is item doesn't give you any health, armor, magic resist. So it's not really going to help you stay alive. At least Bork gives you life still, which synergizes well with your W passive. If you can stay alive long enough to suck an enemy champ with your passive. There's that. Team wants to group up on... Yeah, our W is on a 6.8 second cooldown. <laughs> no, someone's trying to surrender. That's whack. Get him with the pillar, blue smite, ghost all attack, Q reset. I still have R for the Darius. That sucks. It's not what I wanted at all. I'm taking double inhib. Screw it. Goodbye. <laughs> Darius is like, nah, we're not fighting that. He's like, no, 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 no. I didn't use a good W there. I missed out on the extra attack speed. Once again, you need to really think about the placement on it. 110 attack speed is pretty serious once again another bad w we're on a roll we need to get it in range of the turret while still giving ourselves the path we want to run which is whether it's forward or backwards they're just trying to find a hook in the fountain and that is gg's well played so we got the graphs we'll go ahead and do a part two because i kept accidentally putting points in my queue when i was supposed to be doing it in my w let's look at graphs so Looking at Damsel Tenemy Champions, we had the most dealt in the game. Very cool. Damage taken, most taken in the game. Self-mitigated. At least top two. Hey, most self-mitigated. So we took the most damage and dealt the most. Runes, really high value. Spilled is a lot of fun. You absolutely don't have to build Lucids. I just want to see how those would feel. You can, you're just fine going Plated or Merc Treads. You could even go for Berserks, but that seems greedy for me. So... Yeah, lucids are nice because they're really inexpensive. If you guys enjoyed this video, watch part two. I'll see you guys there. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to part two. This time, I'm going to try my best to use my brain cells and put every single point into W outside of our initial point in Q. So, should be a fun game up against an Udir. I hate it when people keep watch on top of me. Riven should be over here, but she just doesn't realize it. So now what can happen is they can loop in through here, come around, and then I die. And I can't get there in time, so... If you're a top laner, don't keep watch where your jungler is, even if you think it's cute. It's just going to get you both killed, potentially, and then the jungler is going to be very upset with you. So We already let our teammates know. Whenever you do this, tell them before you mute all, because you should be muting all. Every game is a jungler if you're playing below a D1 level. Uh, yeah, so anyways, before you mute everyone on your team, say where you're going to start. So I want to start in blue. I said, on my way blue, need leash. That will like make them leash. I'd say 19 out of 20 times you'll get a leash. And uh, only time you won't is if they muted you from the start before you typed it. And uh, if they also weren't paying attention. So you really do want to leash on Trundle though. He's a very early tempo jungler. He's obviously junglers who don't need leashes like Fiddlesticks. In fact, Fiddlesticks, it doesn't speed him up really at all. But uh, with champions like Trundle, Getting the leash is really nice. Auto attack key reset. I think we need one more auto there. I don't think the burn was going to quite finish. Auto attack key reset. Try to put an auto on each one of them to apply your jungle item burn. Then you can auto key reset back onto the big one. Auto Q reset. We'll use our W. It's going to help us get to where we're trying to go anyways. 
and it's gonna give us that juicy juicy attack speed at this point it's annoying having to get e because it gives you zero damage but you need it you can't full clear on this champ the only way to get level four is to take every one of your camps really so as lovely as it would be to put a second point in q or w before e it's unrealistic and can put you in some really bad spots when you want to gank i think vladimir is pretty easy I mean, he does have phase rush, which is kind of annoying though. We'll go mid instead. Could look to invade Udyr, who does full clears. It's actually very tempting. Auto attack Q reset. We had a terrible pillar there. I still want to see if I can get his flash though. Yeah, I'm actually okay with that. We burn flash. He has to reset, and I'm going to get a lot of XP. So if he doesn't reset a call, he can kill him. We get a lot of XP. That 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 situation is fine because our ghost is a lower cooldown than the flash, so that, that's actually great. He misses a full wave of minions. Kali's gonna have a juicy lead on him off that. Auto attack, Q reset. We could use pillar to scrape shield or just use our smite. I want to gank though. Hey, look at that! A second point in W. Who would have thought? Got a really juicy pillar off honor. Take a turret shots, whatever. I kind of want to reset anyways. You really want to reset once you can afford part of your Sunfire. You you can go for Divine though. Divine's not terrible on Trundle. It's actually one of his cores. You don't see Trundle with Sunfire as much. Divine doesn't really give you on hit damage, so it can feel kind of weird. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can get a good pillar this time. Hey, we did auto attack Q reset. Auto attack Q reset. Auto Q reset. Hey, give it to me, baby. That's huge. I'm going to try to leave the wave where it is. We'll farm over the wall to soak some XP. I don't think I could have pushed it fast enough, so I'd rather leave it at a freestyle position. It's just our back line minions are in such a weird spot. It was hard to. We still got some XP over the wall, though, so that was really good. It was a hard fight for them to win since we already initiated so much damage onto the Asuo. So, yeah, it was a great fight for us. We had, me and Akali had an overall lead over them. So the Yasuo was behind. And he had taken initial damage. I'll go mid here. Akali, wow, oh my god, what's that build? She must be going Sunfire Rush. Yeah, on this guy, hit him with the pillar, auto attack, Q reset. Yasuo passive, let's be honest, that thing is broken. So broken. I hit him with an auto and a Q reset, he took zero damage. Nothing. I'm going to enjoy killing him later. It's going to bring me immense pleasure. Yasuo and Yons have ridiculously overloaded kits. Way too much in there. Only thing that keeps them balanced is their inherent short range. That's it. If you're not able to punish them, they're short range. There's zero counterplay. They, they can do so much. They both have a lot of CC as well. I'm going to W to get over there. Kali gets hit by the tornado. That's not good. I think this is actually bad, me following. I thought she was going to be able to outrun him, but she's just getting destroyed. I'll attack Q reset. Their bot lane's rotating. I have to leave. Kali's going to get us all killed. She just couldn't outrun Yasuo at all. Oh, she doesn't have boots. That's why. I'm a Dingleberry. If I would have realized that, I wouldn't have gone. Wait, so this uh, Senna doesn't have flash right now. Oh, I'll attack Q reset. That was a really good follow up from the uh, Samira. Only reason we forced it so hard is she had no flash and we had uh, ghost. So. Level six pre seven minutes because we've been soaking so much. Uder's red is up, so we'll go ahead and take that. We just saw him top side. He's going to miss out on a lot. He doesn't have boots, he only has his initial bomby cinder. Just like me, except I have the cloth armor as well since we won that fight mid. It's the Trundle diff. Trundle's a better version of Warwick in terms of how dynamic he is. His con 
consistent amount of being dynamic. He has more consistent CC as well from his Q than Warwick has pre-6. Getting that red buff's pretty nice. Uh, we'll leave this right here. Maybe try to bait Senna. Yeah, she's coming for the Dragon Lord. She can't see me because I'm behind the wall. Okay, never mind. She's being a little turd. She actually just went to go check red. It's really weird. I might lose my whole top side. He also looks like he was warding it. I'll attack Q reset. We'll hit them both with the bombies and both with our red buff burn and our jungle item burn. Basically have three burns right now. Two actual damage over times and then the constant from bombies. Bombies is the least impactful of the other of the total three. Red buff dot plus jungle item burn. We'll finish that. Ooh, if it didn't, that's a yikes. Got it down to one health, and I guess jungle item burn is the only thing left. Jungle item burn lasts longer than red buff burn is why. It still had burn on it, but it was only jungle item burn. Jungle item burn will not finish. Red buff or blue buff used to be much com more common in previous league seasons to give a buff to your teammates. Even early game as jungler. Not as common these days. That's why they did it. It's just kind of vestigial. Any other camp will die from burn. I believe even Dragon or Baron will die from jungle item burn. It's only red and blue buff that don't, which I don't like that aspect, honestly. Anything that breaks the inherent physics of the game for an arbitrary reason, I think is very bad. It's hard, it makes it very hard to learn the physics of League if everything is a strange quirk that is uh, going against the grain. Uh, let's pop him with W, blue smite him in a moment, auto attack Q reset. That was way too close. This guy's a dominating lane. He is dominating. Go bot, dragons up. We have red buff, quirky no boots. Pop W here in a second. I don't want to use it too early, but it looks like I have to. How is she still so fast, though? It's ridiculous. So fast, man. Corky had no boots and he was able to outrun me. It's way too good. Senna speed up so strong. It turned Corky faster than me and I have fast free boots. And he has no boots. So her AoE invisible speed up is better than boots. Think about that. Think about it. We'll reset for Sunfire, then we'll look for Drag Fight. Might as well spend our huge gold stash before we do something crazy. We'll go for, I guess, Lucids again this game, because they're cheap. Can't afford anything else, really, other than Swifties. Swifties would be very mart, very meh against them, though. Because, like, the also knock ups and uh, Senna Snare, so. Could help against Senna Slow, Uyr Slow, and a Vlad Slow, though. I'd rather have Lucids. Even makes your summoner spells lower cooldown, which helps out a lot with closing distance with Blue Smite and running them down with Ghost and whatnot. You could take Lucids on any champion and it'll be decent. Just simply because the boot is inexpensive. Oh, cool. The five man rotation. Please reset, please reset, please reset. Yes. I have such a big item advantage, they can't. Get him with the pillar, auto attack Q reset. Get him with the blue smite, I need the, my ghost extensions. He dies, auto attack Q reset. Oh, th that hurt a lot. This is a weird fight to take. Oh, I'm dead. Hey, you want to die, Senna? Wow, she is fast, huh? Wow, she is really fast. I might die from Vlad here. Yeah, I'm actually going to die. This is so stupid. Oh, turret barely killed me. Senna's disgusting monkey champ. She gets to do so much damage with so much mobility, so much utility. 
So much range. It's so much, dude. AoE heal, AoE shield. Point and click ranged, AoE slow. So much. I need something to hit her hard with. Probably just the Bort. Really sucks to bleed my my shutdown like that. She gets 700 gold. It's good it didn't go to Vlad, though. If that went to Vlad, it might actually just lose the game. Vlad's one of those champions where he can do more with gold than most champions in the game. To where there's not much counterplay. Yeah, Swifty boots. Maybe, maybe if I had Swifties, that would have been all the killer. It's hard to say because she still has a snare. A snare makes it really hard to chase her as a melee. Oh, Yasuo, you're a greedy boy. I'll attack Curious set. That's so stupid. He lives with like 10 health. So dumb. Oh my gosh. Oh well. It is what it is. I need Samira not to back. She actually backs. <laughs> we have full mid prio, and Samira's like, yeah, I need I need a full item. I definitely need that when Corky's not a full item. She just she just threw that dragon. So selfish. She was full health too. It's not like she didn't even need the back there. I had a huge item advantage. I'm tier two boots advantage over the Udi right now with dagger advantage. And like I said, we had full mid prio because Yasuo was in base and we just don't take dragon there. That's awesome. Luckily, Samira R will be good against their team. They don't have great tools to stop it really fast other than Udi stun. Probably their best tool. Find the wards. Now let me build up my my Sunfire Aegis. So you also gonna rotate first again. If you're an item up on him, a call. You should be able to rotate same time as him at least. She went for the free boot, so she hit it really early. We're gonna ghost, auto attack Q. Got him. Hey, buddy. I did R the Uder, so I'm pretty tanky, but this is a lot of damage. Yeah, later, guys. They're all gonna die now. Triple pillar. I guess we only get Udir. Do we not? Do we get him? Okay, just barely. Holy crap. Possible health that charger down underneath turret. It's not worth though. So we're at least a dragon up on these guys. That's something. Because we do need some kind of advantage since they have Vlad, Corky, Vlad, Corky, Senna, Yasuo are all Giga late game champs. Even Udyr's kind of Giga late game if he knows what he's doing. The only thing we have for late game is really me and Samira and the Yumi. I wouldn't even say Riven's a late game champ. I haven't seen much out of that champion for seasons. I don't know what caused it to her, but I haven't seen a convincing Riven in a long, long, long time. I think it, ever since Lethal Tempo turned into a monster rune, it devalued what Riven can do. So many top laners can take Lethal Tempo and do more damage than the Riven, when Riven used to be pretty much the tippity top of, in terms of damage output top laners. She can't use Lethal Tempo very efficiently. She only has time to usually mix in one auto in between each ability, so the Lethal Tempo kind of makes that awkward. Plays against her own kit a bit. We'll look for Harold. Build up our Sunfire Aegis off of it. Someone steps up, we'll kill him. We have an item advantage on pretty much everyone too. So yeah, our W is literally no cooldown. That's awesome. 
They should really make your Q slow per level. Oh, this is bad. We just need to run. <laughs> yeah. You can't keep up with W Max Trundle. 52% movement speed is kind of nuts. They had the pinch there. They had a really good position. They just can't do anything for that fast. Oh, he's got his Q up. Holy crap. Got that quick. Jeez, Akali. I'm going to Q on him immediately. Didn't have time to auto reset. Later, Udyr. We're still on our W. <laughs> There's no way. Is there a bot lane rotating into me right now? I feel like they are. Blue buff up in 50. Will, Will Wolves, Gromp, Scuttle, in the blue. It's fine by me. One auto on each. That was a bad W. It doesn't reach our Gromp. What a waste. Nearly two attack speed. It's really, really high for what we have built. I do have a Herald. I could force something. I want to kill Senna. I think she's going to loop back mid or she's resetting over here in these brush. Oh, it's gross. It's two of them. Uder's really, 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 really tanky. The main issue is he has a lot of max health damage on his R. We don't have any max health damage in our kit other than our R. Uder can spam his. His is a normal cooldown ability. In fact, his R at this point is going to be a low enough cooldown to where he can constantly have it up at all times, which turns him into a walking Anivia R with max health damage. We need to reset for, some, for uh, Bork here for this fight. It's going to be really important to have Bork you want to be as big as possible for the important fights whether it's a 2v2 or Baron a dragon fight we should have more gold spent than this Uder as well he won't be able to force second item as long as we position and we hit him with our R we'll be really tanky really tanky they're not even going to try to fight for it Vlad does have TP Send us topside, so they're given this clearly. Very clearly. He also was chilling mid. It's fine by me. Still have our Herald. You could take a bot and split, or you could lay a mid. Mid's almost dead though, so it's hard to say. Just take it over here. Yeah, this is fine. Oh, someone actually just TP'd for this. It's actually a good TP. But it, it looks kind of silly, though. I could have easily taken this with my W and Q. Whole team managed to die 4v4. Vlad didn't get an assist or a kill, so he wasn't present in that fight. 4v4 when we have double dragons and a gold advantage is kind of bad. That's so dumb that he's chasing. They get two turrets out of that. They're not going to go for the next one, though. Vlad's going to walk into me here in a second. Is he going to pop phase rush? Is that what's going to happen? Canceled my arc because I lost vision. That's actually good, though. I wasn't going to be able to kill him. He's moving too fast off phase rush. That's fine. We need to look for uh, Scuttle Crab here. Get our Sunfire on all of this. Yeah, the Wave Killer is actually really good with this much attack speed. We don't even really need Tiamat to push this wave really quick. Just eight seconds and the wave's gone. So what, is that, what does that equal out to? About a second per minion? A little less than a second. That, was there a cannon minion in that wave? Hey, friend. Into the, oh, my pillar's on cooldown. Oh, that sucks. It sucks, but it still turned out. Their minions are doing a lot of damage. 
Lulu is so good with Trundle. And no, this is not the same Lulu I'm playing by myself. It just happened to be I got a different Lulu two games in a row. Any kind of support that can speed you up. Karma, Lulu, uh, Zillion. They're all kind of nutty with Trundle. You can stay on top of them and apply your big, big hits. Got two kills out of that. That's pretty good. They're already missing so much health that it's going to take the turret five, six shots simply to catch back up to how much damage they've already taken. So it's an easy dive option since they, a lot of them were missing. Obviously, if Vlad was already there, I wouldn't have done that. Could look for Wit's End. Wit's End is, wouldn't be terrible against their team. Corky's magic damage, even his auto is like 80% magic damage. It's, it's his passive, and then the Vlad, and then the Udyr, so. After Titanic, I think we go for, uh, I think we go for Wit's End. She's like, what is she doing? She's like running past the minions. That's some wonky stuff. 7.3 seconds. Takes us about two and a half to get through our W. Hey, friend. Oh, what's wrong, Senna? You can't get away? Oh, you can't get away from me, huh? Is that right? Run, boy, run, squeal! <laughs> do it, Yasuo, do it. Do it, boy! I'm coming for your soul. We got so much health back from our passive there, from the champions dying. It wasn't even close. We <laughs> had our lethal tempo built up and they're trying to scrap. It's like, nah, guys, you just need to get out of here. <laughs> oh, I really need my... Uh... Oh, I need to get out. This is bad. Hey, it feels bad, Corky. Wait, how did Akali die? He was trying to kill me. <laughs> Dragon's coming up, too. It's actually not a good time for me to do what I did. It was really forced on my part. I thought maybe we could do it. We don't have that much damage against turrets. On hit damage doesn't count against turrets. Like, our Boric on hit and Sunfire on hit doesn't do anything against turrets. We should probably reset before this next fight. Since Senna's top, though, we can cheese drag. Hey, friend. Let's see. Ooh, I wasn't even trying to take it. My something killed it. Must have been. I don't know if I already had red buff or what. I was trying to let her have it. She's pretty fed, too. She could do more with it than I probably could. Got it. We're triple dragon on the way to soul. Yeah, we're going to eat these kids up like candy. Hey, friends. Oh, you're so fast, dude, there. He <laughs> got his flash. That's still a good trade, because our ghost is a much shorter cooldown than flash. He won't be able to get away next time from us. Uh, Yasuo is way out of position. Go snap him. I don't think he realizes he actually has nowhere to go. I'll attack Q reset. Down you go, buddy. We could start Baron off that. I don't think Corky has package either. And Yasuo is one of their more fed players. As funny as that is to say out loud, being 4 and 9. It's kind of scary that he's about to hit his 10 death power spike. We all know how that is. I'll attack Q reset. Down he goes. We are on the Udyr. We should be really tanky now. Oh, yeah. We're tanky. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we are tanky. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah. That's a lot of tankiness. Able to be in there muscling down. Not even Warwick's that tanky, bruh. Kali's falling apart here. She doesn't have any HP. Swap it over to my base stats. Got it. Not too shabby. Very solid indeed. 
Got to play for Draxel, then we can force a fight even 5v5 underneath turret, probably, and win it. Go ahead and pick up Titanic, and we'll push into Wit's End. Wit's End, let's see. God, selling double control words feels bad. How much gold do you even get back for selling these things? Doesn't tell you here, because I have to buy it to find out. Not much is the answer. Some items give less than half of what they cost. It's usually the early game items that they don't want you to sell. Looks like real items give 70% of their value, which is actually pretty good. It's better than what a pawn shop will give you. <laughs> It'll give you like less than half, like 30% if that. There's somebody over here. Oh, hey friend. Our next victim. You can definitely outrun us. That is 100% viable. 100% he's fast as heck. Little does he know. W's on a 7 second cooldown. Lasts for 8 seconds. Ooh, we're going in deep. Blue Smiter, I'll attack Curie set. Nice kiting Senna, very cool. Down she goes. My teammates were able to turn back around too, especially with Senna not able to put out her CC and whatnot. We we can't. Maybe we can end off this if, if they step up a little bit. We can at least get a base turret. Hey, friend. I was almost close. Got his dash. Hey, friend. Oh, almost got him. <laughs> he barriered on fountain. <laughs> Hit the fountain, boys. Go, go, go. That is GG's well played. Trundle in the bung hole. W max first is actually so much fun. Looking at damage to me champions, we had the most damage dealt in the game on a Sunfire Rush Trundle in the bung hole. Looking at damage taken, we took the most in the game. Looking at self mitigated, we definitely did. Yeah, because we were still in Udyr's stats and a team fight's getting all of his armor magic resist. So took the most. Damage, dealt the most damage, runes, giga high value, over two minutes of maxed out lethal tempo uptime. This is not including partial uptimes. And we maxed out on 38 different occasions. That is a lot. Uh, I wish they had some proper tanks like Malphite or Orn that would have been fun to munch on them. Pretty good value out of our runes. I had a blast. You guys should definitely give this build a try. Give the playstyle a try. I think you'll have a good time. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to hack the algorithm. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.